here. These are pictures from when she was showing it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Those would have been early 60s, I guess. She was showing it. Almost trying to make out what it says on that front plate. I can't quite. I don't know. I guess that would be the. So you guys bought this in 60. Four, 60, 65, 66, somewhere around there. And you've had it ever since, yeah. you and your family. You used to ride around in the back and go yeah, to yeah. shows with the brothers. And Yeah, well, they were my, my best friends in the family. We, had, we were seven, seven, and six. Yeah. And uh, so, yeah, I spent my, grew up in, in the back of it. With, there's a divider, well, the seats, I guess, are the divider right here. Right, right. So we would drive around with that in the era before children had to be safe. Yeah. Uh, in the era when the safe could actually have fun. Yeah, back in those days. And, uh, yeah, which she won more than one Concorde d'Elegance with the thing, with working with Bud Hand, and uh, so she would drive it up onto the platform with all of us hanging out of the back, which was horrifying to the other people that were in the show. Uh, all right. I'm not sure I know anything about this one. You said Chuck Lowry probably owned this car, and he was the one that... So, say that yeah. again, your friend Chuck had this car new? Maybe. You Maybe. Think. He had and one he, just like it. And he got rear-ended. And, I don't know uh, if it got rear-ended or whatever, but he got in a wreck with it. Someone came to a, a stop sign and hit him. And from there on, well, I don't know, but he got rid of the car. The rear was rebuilt with uh, metal instead of wood. No, I could, I I could pick up that, that story. The, oh, I thought you said that. The car oh. ended up at Bud Hand's uh, shop. And the the wood frame in the back had been crushed right. into flat, I think. Um, and he welded a new back that was more or less the same shape, right. close enough, and put a new body on it. And uh, and for that reason, that's why the car drives differently. Is because it's you know wood frame cars. When you turn, the back end comes up, and you just go that way. But this one actually turns like a turns car. With it. <laughs> you have to actually oh. turn it. Um, so it drives differently than the wood frame Morgans. So the rear end, it's uh, it looks original. Yeah. But the uh, from about the, from here back, I think it's all metal. Yeah. But the frame, the uh, underneath the metal normally would be a wood body. Yeah. It's all it would be wood frame metal. from beginning to end. Right. This is not. Spare tire in it. Yes. Yeah. yeah. If you take the spare tire out, you can actually see. Yeah, I remember. The, I don't That's got to be one of a kind. Frame. I mean, yeah, I remember the metal frame. It's it's about the metal about that wide and that about that thick. It's black. I remember seeing it. This car may may win the award for the most uh, rodent uh, <laughs> turns I've seen I've seen. Actually, there's a car at my house. That's the, the, the you've seen worse, Derek. Have you seen worse? They take up this, 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 they just like more. Dodge looks pretty good. Like cars nice and warm inside. Yeah, I guess so. There's probably some fake. The doors shut nicely. The valley all this time. So what did what did the clients do? Well, as far as I know, he restored the car and he rebuilt the motor. So Chris so Lawrence built this in the late '80s. Do you think? Yeah, that would be about the same. So what he would have reboard the engine, or what did he do to rebuild it? I'll take it apart and put together, uh, hopefully new bearings and things like that, make sure everything fits right. He was actually a pretty good uh, motor builder.